What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan in case anybody is new here and in this video we're going to be doing another trade recap on a trade that I did in which I made a $2,200 profit in less than 30 minutes with less than $2,600 invested. Now I know the scene is a little bit different. I'm going to try and do this whole little intro where I show you guys myself at the beginning and again I know it's a little different it's because I'm out of town right now I mentioned in my last video that I had to go out of town for a few things and because my dog needed some procedures so we had to come back again because he needed some more procedures so uh, anyways I figured might as well show you guys let me take the laptop show you guys the scene here a little bit it's kind of foggy kind of gloomy so you can't really see it I know some people don't really like to see it because they think oh he's just showing off or oh he's just trying to do lifestyle marketing or I know some people think it's all just like a bunch of bs but at the end of the day you know, there's a difference between what you want it to be and what it is. You know, it, it is what it is. This is, you know, the life that we have now. And it's, I, I'm trying to show it to you guys to motivate you guys. Some people think it's all just BS or marketing, but it's not. It, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and we'll jump right into it here. Senoras y senoras, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's jump into it here. So we're going over a trade here that I did on Baba. We made a $2,210 profit. It was less than 30 minutes. I mean, if you want to be exact, maybe 22, 25 minutes, something along those lines. We were trading options here. So a little different than some of the other videos. I like to try to balance it out now and people get all bent out of shape when they see that I was trading shares. Like, oh man, what's wrong with options? So now I go to options and they say, oh, what's wrong with shares? And it's like, guys, let me be. Anyways, so we're doing options here. Um, we were doing a current week expiration, December 24th there, as you can see, we were trading puts. So puts means you make money when the stock goes down. I was trading the 250 strike put here. And again, just showing you Baba here, $2,200 profit there, showing you guys everything here. Um, I'm going to just break down the orders for you guys real quick here. The numbers talk about how much it costs and what the profit was. And we'll just go talk about it on the chart and hopefully it'll be a quick one. I know I always say it'll be a quick one and it ends up being long. Hopefully you guys don't mind and, and just, Hey, press the thumbs up button for no reason. Absolutely. No, none at all. Just press it. Go ahead, please. I'm waiting. Okay, cool. All right. So you still didn't press it. Press the thumbs up guy. All right. I'm being dramatic now. Okay. So we had a total of 45 contracts. I started in with 35 contracts. I added in 10 more contracts about a minute later. And then about 20 minutes after that, I closed out all 45 contracts. So we're going to go in and talk about the cost first. 35 contracts at 56 cents each. The way options works is one is equivalent to 100. So if it shows 56 cents, it's actually $56. So $56 times 35 that's 1960 That was the initial cost of the trade, if you will. So I put $1,960 into the trade. Then a minute later, I added in an additional 10 contracts at 60 each. So that's an additional $600. So the total cost of the trade was literally $1,960 plus 600 which is 2560 So the whole trade costs 2560 That does not mean we're risking 2560 I just like to use my used car example here. I always say if you go out and buy a used car for $2,500 thinking you're going to sell it for $4,000 and then you find out, oh, something's wrong with the car or this, that, and the other, you're not just going to go drop the car off on the side of the road and say, all right, well, that's it. You're not going to just go take it to the junkyard and say, all right, guys, it's all you now. Go ahead. No, you're going to sell it for a loss or you're going to, you know, you'll take a loss on it is what I'm trying to say. So we have plans, this, that, and the other. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys understand the difference between saying we're risking 2,560 versus using 2,560. There's a difference. So we're using 2,560 here. That's what the cost of the trade was. So as I always say, if you have $2,560, you know what you're doing. You could have done this trade as well. So moving forward at 652. I closed out all 45 of them at the price of 106 each. So 106 times 45 is 4,770. So we sold the trade for 4,770 and the cost of the trade was 2,560. So you subtract the difference there and that's how you get the profit. So 4,770 minus 2,560, that's where you get the profit of 2,210. So it's basically like we bought a used car for 2,560 and then we turned around and sold it 30 minutes later for 4,770. So that's basically the numbers, the orders, trying to show you guys what options and how all that works here. We were trading puts. So puts means you make money when the stock goes down. Now let's jump into it and talk about it here on the chart for a second for you guys. Here's Baba. Let me zoom in for you guys. 
So kind of to give you guys a little bit of something something here, I was mainly watching BABA right off of this 255 area as we were kind of approaching it. Um, it's been a key level from like the past and everything like that. Even on the previous day, I was kind of approaching that level, kind of holding above it. Here in pre-market, we're kind of like just barely kind of tapping it, you know, tap, tap, tap in. What's that song? Something like that. Um, anyway, so trying to tap into the 255. So that's kind of what I was watching in the chat room. I threw out in the morning, hey, watch this 255 area here on BABA, along with a few other names as well. Um, but anyway, so out of the open, as soon as I saw that he kind of dropped below the 255 area, I mean, literally, the market opens, boom, he drops right below it. Broke that 255 area right away. So I'm like, all right, let me see. Let me evaluate real quick. I'm looking at some other stocks within the sector, looking at a few things here. And I'm like, okay, nothing's really too strong. All the other Chinese stocks, they're all kind of, you know, dropping out a little bit, dropping out a little bit. Yeah, Baidu was gapping up, a little bit of strength there, but, you know, nothing crazy. This guy here, mind you, is gapping down, testing this 255 area. Yeah, Baidu gapped up, but he's also weak out of the open. Oh, yeah, also another Chinese stock just weak out of the open. So I, that's where I get my confirmation, if you will, for lack of a better word here, let me go ahead and put it on a one chart, make it a little easier for you guys to see here. So basically, once I saw that it broke that 255 area, that's where I got puts because I was expecting it to break that area and flush out to the two, the 250, 250. I'm sorry, I kind of, you know, sound a little weird there. The 250, 250 area. Um, so now to kind of talk risk and all of that, I had initially put my stop on that first order that I put in uh, just in case we completely reversed and went up. My stop was at the basically like the pre-market highs, if you will, this pre-market resistance area and the psychological area of the 256 area. So I had about a dollar risk and a little bit of a better uh, reward, if you will. My reward could have been 253. Um, I was really shooting for the 250, 250 and that's kind of where I got anyways. Um, as you guys can see here. So this is where I entered. Now I only put one arrow on it because, and some people like to complain and say, why don't you just put the turn on your trades? I don't like to do that because when you put the turn on your trades, it just puts the arrows at the top usually, if I'm not mistaken. That doesn't really show anybody anything. So um, anyways, I only put one arrow because the orders were like literally a minute apart. Basically, as soon as we broke the 255 area, that's where I got in it. And as I saw, like, okay, cool, we're not really getting back above it. We're kind of going down, next candle down. I added in right here at the 631 as well. I added in. So I'm in the full-size position there. And right here at the 652 is basically where I closed the trade out. We were at, I'd say, you know, the 252.75 area. Uh, I was hoping for the 252.50, but I got a little bit scared out right here. I kind of saw that he might have been reversing a little bit here, kind of holding above this area, you know. And that's where I said, all right, let's go close it out. What am I going to get upset about, 25 cents, you know? No, so I closed out the trade. Obviously, it did end up hitting the 252.50 area, reversing right off of it. Um, so, I mean, I guess technically it could have been more profit, but we don't care about that. That's not really like a concern for us. Uh, you know, we're here for the meat of the move. Am I mad that I didn't get in at the very top here and get out at the very bottom? No, you know, I caught it from here to here. That's a decent move, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, just kind of highlighting the idea of options here for you guys, showing you how you can make money when the stock goes down, um, showing you how you can trade with a small amount of money, just doing a little comparisons here, just trying to get content for you guys here and documenting and things like that. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, guys. It really helps. So if you enjoyed the video and you just, you know, you want to help a little thumbs up, subscribe, put the notifications on so that the next time we put a video, you get to be notified and then you'll be there right away. And Instagram, or not Instagram, YouTube thinks are relevant. They'll show it to more people. I don't know. Maybe that's not how it works. But anyways, if you guys want to learn how to do this kind of stuff, I'll put the link to our website down below. You can take our course. You can sign up for our watch list. Follow me on social media. Who's Bijan T on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Micmoc, everything else. So we'll wrap it up here. Again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your night, and just have a great rest of your life. I'll talk to you all soon.